Hey everyone, I just want to show you real quick what I want you to do today. Uh, pretend this is your sound story. This is not your sound story. Um, this is a, a project that I've worked on. Um, anyways, what I want you to do to your sound story today is uh, put a title in front of it, just like I had right there. I'm going to delete it. So I want you to put a title in front of your sound story. And the titles are done right here under the T right there. So when you click that button, um, all this will change so that it's all about titles. And there are a bunch of different titles. There's basic 3D title. Um, sorry, I double clicked it. There's basic 3D titles. There's custom made. And if you just roll your mouse over it like that, you'll see what the different titles do. Um, and you, you can see them, how they work just by rolling your mouse over them all right um, and then there's you can go to build in and out and there's all kinds of different titles that do different crazy things um, you can see them all just by looking around and finding the one that you like the most um, I'm just gonna go with this one right here I like it and I'm gonna drag it drop it down here right in front of the sound story and notice see how if you drag it and put it right there everything moves over so everything in your sound story will move right over and make way for your title and drop it in there you should see it like that all right and now I see my title like that now to edit I'm gonna go over to here and I'm gonna click on this button right there all right and there I see um, a bunch of controls for this title right and the first thing that I want to do is change the text so that's for this one it's right here where it says face um, where's the text sorry I'm looking for the text actual text oh there we go um, I clicked on it right here and now I see where it says title there and I can change this to sound story and then this one if I click on that one you can see well that switched to subtitle I want it just to say by Mr. Farley all right now you can change all kinds of things the font spacing all kinds of stuff but just keep it keep it the way it is um, don't don't try to be too tricky today just get a title working like that all right and then of course at the end you can do credits so if I see my at the end of my sound story here and I want to do some credits let me go to credits here and I got some credits regular movie credits just like that now you're not gonna have a whole lot of stuff to do but you know if you want to play with one of these just to just to have fun you can um, I'll just do this one for for fun drag it drop it down to here all right, and now I have all this stuff that I can change. Again, click that button um, right here and click on stuff here. If you click on there, it, it, see there's what it's, that's what it's, uh, that's what it is. Final Cut Pro and High Def Films present. I can do Farley Films presents and I can just click and, and change all of this stuff. All right, um, you know, have fun with it. Change what you want, or of course you can keep it simple. If you don't like that one, that's that's a lot of work there. Maybe just keep it simple. Do a 3D title, and just end with something simple. I'm gonna put it so it goes right there. All right, and you know, instead of basic 3D, I can put the end. <laughs> since I already put my name at the beginning why not just end it like that the end all right fine okay and it's gonna go away all right so um, titles before and at the end and then also with the titles if you want to you can also put them above your storyline like that so then whatever is visible I also have my my titles like that so that's always something cool as well so you can do it above or before like that it's up to you okay um, do titles and then what I want you to do is I want you to go to file share and master file 
And master file is a file that you can then turn in. Uh, make sure everything that you did is right here. Um, go to settings here and make sure this video codec is H.264. Um, if you forget this, it's not a big deal. Just that usually this is what you want for anything going to the web, YouTube, anything like that. You might as well set it now and get it over with so everything else, you never have to set it again. And then next. And then uh, I suggest you go to the desktop. Make sure it's going to the desktop and name it. Okay, your naming convention, underscore sound story and you don't really need to do the 001s because this is a final version of it you're going to turn this in so 20f underscore sound story is fine get it to the desktop all right and then watch this little button right here if you click on it you'll see that but watch it it's a little pie chart and it's showing you the progress of the export on your video so don't do not do anything until this is done and give yourself a good five minutes before the bell rings to let this go depending on how long your sound story is yours might just take a minute or so this is a whole video that I made anyways um, wait for that to be done all right you'll see that it's 43 46 percent all right you can click it and click it and watch the progress but watch that thing and you'll see on your desktop get rid of this stuff there it is so you see it right there but it's not complete do not turn that in until it's done all right when this is done go to the server go to the slam 22 folder and then slam 22 a or b and put it in the sound story folder okay there's a sound story folder waiting there for you put it in there okay and now you'll see when it's done come on come on come on come on come on 95 percent. okay it's done today's show is about something you can see okay and, and then you should see you'll you'll see it but now you'll see it as a video see how that icon changed all right so now it's ready to turn in that's the one you want to turn in should end in dot mov all right turn that in and you're good to go